So this morning we are going to be doing a antibiotic overlay test. Um, the idea behind this is that we can identify any antibiotics which our isolates are able to produce. Um, so just as a recap, we started out with a series of dilution plates from our environmental sample that has a whole range of bacteria growing on them. We then pick individual colonies which are streaked out um, so that they are pure cultures um, onto a variety of different kinds of media. Um, from that, we use we plate them out into these assay plates with several bacteria on each one, um, all different kinds. Now we have four replicates of each plate so that we um, can test four different kinds of bacteria all at once. So in order to carry out the antibiotic assay, you have molten agar that's about 50, 55 degrees Celsius. Um, you add your bacteria to that agar and then you pour over your test plates. Um, any, then you incubate until the next day and any bacteria which produces a zone of clearing in the top agar is um, able to produce an antibiotic that's able to kill these test strains. So we're going to start the antibiotic overlay and the first thing to do is check the temperature of your agar. Now we've had this sat in a 55 degree water bath so it's, it's cooled down to a reasonable temperature. If you don't have access to a, a water bath um, just make sure you can hold the molten agar in your hand. If you can hold it here and keep it in your hand without hurting yourself or uh, very comfortably um, then you should be able to um, add the bacteria without doing it any harm. Try not to let the agar go below um, 30 or 40 degrees. Um, that way, that's about when it will set. So, first thing to do is add the bacteria. So, the first bacteria I'm going to work with is the E. coli, and that is diluted one in a thousand into the media. So, open your bottle make sure it's sterile. Take a pipette, take your culture of E. coli, sterilize that. Take 500 microliters of culture. Add that 500 microliters of culture to the agar. Sterilize the lid. Just give it a mix. Okay, here we have all of our assay plates. So the first thing to do is set them the wrong way up. Sterilize the opening of your bottle again and take a plate. Pour approximately 10 ml of molten agar on top. Give it a swirl and set to one side. Again with the next plate, approximately 10 ml. So now your plates are done, sterilize the lid again, and close your bottle. This agar, because I've got so much left, will have to be autoclaved to sterilize it again, and then it can be disposed of. These plates can now be um, put at 30 degrees and incubated overnight, and tomorrow morning we will check to see whether we have any zones of clearing or not. It's now been just over 24 hours since we set up our antibiotic overlay assay. These cultures have been at 30 degrees that entire time and unfortunately we don't have any of um, zones of clearing. 
to show you. This is not entirely unexpected as the bacteria that we're working with are environmental isolates and we have no idea whether they produce antibiotics or not. It's also not unexpected because we only have 100 strains in each one of these piles. Um, so the hit rate should be around about 0.1%. So to get no, no results here is not a bad thing. What we now need to do is work with our other isolates and start screening those for antibiotic resistance.